That is sexual to me. <laughs> like. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Simone Nicole, here, back at it again with yet another video. And today's video is going to be an ask me anything, get ready with me. So I'm getting ready to head out to dinner with my friend. So I wanted to get ready with you guys and have y'all ask me whatever questions that y'all have been wanting to ask. And I ask y'all not to do too much. And y'all ain't do too much and I really do appreciate that. If you would like to see if I answered your question or just generally be in my business while we get real cute, real beat, then just keep on watching. And also every single thing that I have on, everything that I use on my face, every everything will be linked down in my description box. Let's get to the video. Let's get into it. I asked you guys questions on both Instagram and YouTube. So I'm gonna go back and forth between the two i told y'all not too much on me y'all actually did a pretty good job at that so i appreciate it even though y'all was up in my business one of the first questions actually the first question that i got was what has been on your mind a lot i don't know if it's the new year or if it's this 27th year because i have talked to y'all about how your 27th year is like supposed to be like one of the most transformational in your life and if y'all watched my last video of the year then y'all will have seen that yes 27 for me has been a very very transformative year and i have been starting to see a lot of patterns in myself that I feel like I'm having to really come to terms with I guess you could say and figure out how I'm gonna move forward with those things. I have a really bad perfectionist complex. For the most part it doesn't take over my life because it's not perfectionism in the way of like oh I refuse to put up a video unless it's like exactly how I envisioned it and exactly what I wanted to look like. It's not that type of perfectionism more so within myself. I'm constantly seeking to be the best version of myself and for better or for worse i also am constantly trying to be the best version of myself for everyone else around me too i mean that's a good thing but then it can lead to people pleasing at times not being completely honest about how i feel in situations because i'm trying to hear other people out and like always be like the healthiest communicator possible i'm starting to understand when i'm really close to somebody i end up projecting that onto other people i be wanting people to behave the same same way that I do which is like a voracious want to be I hate to say perfect but I have a I have a strong want to just not mess up and that's impossible so that is something that has been on my mind a lot hey editing Simone here I also wanted to add that I heard a quote about how perfectionism is nothing more than a need to avoid criticism and that really messed me up because that is a big part of my perfectionist complex is that I'm trying to constantly avoid criticism because criticism means that I did something wrong or means that I hurt someone's feelings. And if that's true, then I'll cease to exist. Okay, back to the video. Was that too heavy to start the video? This is one of the highest liked comments, so I'm definitely gonna address this one. Do you ever feel pressure to make your life aesthetic and be presentable even when you're not recording? So yes and no. I kind of got beef with some rhetoric going on online and the thing that I see people make fun of a lot when it's taken out of like the girlies section of the internet is the whole unpackaging things to repackage them so that it can look more aesthetic. So like taking cereal out of the cereal box and putting it in the container, taking juice out of the container, putting it in a container, taking the eggs out of a container, putting it in another container. Like a lot of people feel like that's doing too much and it has become definitely something that a lot of people online feel comfortable making fun of the creators for but my thing is why does anybody else care i don't feel the pressure to do the things that i do because i genuinely like doing them i was just talking to my nephew about this actually because i just got like a little the little candle snuffer set for christmas from my cousin and he was like smell you are so bougie and i was like listen it truly is the little things that do it for me that just makes me feel so good day to day so I authentically like the fact that my refrigerator is always perfectly organized. I love that my spices are in individual containers and they have the labels on them. That is sexual to me. <laughs> like, yes, it's definitely a big aesthetic online right now. But also I feel like in reaction to that, we have the maximalist 
girlies too you know what i'm saying and i just really feel like you need to find a lifestyle that is authentic to you and not what's authentic to other people because i don't feel the pressure to be aesthetic in those like stereotypical ways offline because it's truly and genuinely who i am now other things it depends on what you mean by aesthetic as in like the very performative like looking a certain way talking a certain way dressing a certain way i don't have it when it comes to that i right now am not like a designer girly and the only reason i'm not a designer girly is because i'm not at that point financially and you know maybe by other people's standards i am <laughs> But I have always said that I will not buy anything that is a, like a crazy luxury item unless I can afford to buy it twice. So if I want to buy a YSL bag, I need to be able to afford to buy it twice and not even think about it. That's how comfortable I would like to be. And in addition to that, I just have other goals right now. Something that I feel like I'll always be trying to talk to y'all about is really figuring out what is authentic to you because once you do, it's really hard for what other people do to affect you in any major way. Not saying that I'm not influenced by the internet ever because everyone is, but no, I just don't, I don't feel pressure to look a certain way, act a certain way, be a certain way. Like y'all have met me out in public before, whether I'm like all the way together or not. Like me that you get here is me that you're gonna get in person. So that was a long-winded answer for no. For the most part, I do not. Someone asked me, has your social media platform created any challenges in your personal life? If so, what type of challenges and how are you able to conquer them? Absolutely. In so many different ways, um, it has. <sighs> Okay, where do I start? <laughs> One, unfortunately, I have experienced people not switching up on me per se, but I feel people treating me differently as my platforms have grown. Like people that, not that anybody ever told me that I couldn't do what I'm doing, but people that never really took my little online presence too too seriously. Now it's like, oh, you Hollywood now, you know what I'm saying? You know like the ick that girls get when um, dudes call you big money? Like that's how I be feeling, unfortunately. Not always, but it definitely does happen. And that's why I'm so grateful for the people that are around me because they don't care. <laughs> Like in the best way possible, they do not care about Simone Nicole. They care about Simone the person and that's what I really need around me. It also has been hard on me with people constantly sharing their thoughts on um, me, how I look, what I do, how I dress, if I gain weight, if I lose weight. Think about how conscious you are of yourself and the way that you look and the way you present to the world. Now imagine 300, 400, 500,000 people also looking at you with that same expectation and that same amount of uh, critical eye and people saying things about you, judging you, um, making assumptions about you. And you like low key can't even say nothing back because one thing about it, I don't have time to argue with people. Like I really don't. And when these people be commenting the stuff they be commenting, it's because they have time. And I have responded. And every time that I have, I'm like, this is stupid. You damned if you do, you damned if you don't. I don't know. It's You sacrifice a lot of peace with this job. Like the bigger and bigger you get, the more and more peace you sacrifice. But it's okay with me specifically because this is just the beginning for me and I know that. I feel like I've said this a handful of times, but I have a degree in theater performance. Like I'm an actor, that's why I moved to Atlanta. That is my end goal ultimately. So I understand that for the rest of my life, people will make assumptions about me and decide who I am, decide they don't like me for whatever reason and might want to make me public enemy number one <laughs> in their life. And I just kind of have to be okay with that. And it's so weird to think about, but that's just kind of the place that I have come to mentally with it because I can't let that rule me. I can't let other people's opinions run me because 
One person will say they love the way that I dress. The next person will say that they think that it's tacky. Am I gonna change the way that I dress for them? No, and that's just what I gotta keep in mind. I think it was Oprah that said, do not take criticism from somebody that you would not take advice from. And that'd be hard to keep in mind when you be getting dogged online. But that is really something that I keep in mind very often. Okay, so now let's touch on one of my most asked questions. And of course, it's about my relationship status. I got a lot of questions about if I'm in a relationship, um, who that person is, how long we've been together. And the answer is I will never talk about the person that I am dating publicly. I decided this a long time ago, actually after me and my boyfriend from college broke up. We had a public relationship like posting, doing the whole nine, da, 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 da. And once we broke up, I had to take down all of our pictures and all of our memories and have people in my business unnecessarily. And I hated that, like I hated that feeling. And I had barely started to have a following online. And I'm like, dang, if I feel like that now, I can only imagine how I'm gonna feel one day when the stakes are higher. That's actually pretty good. Well, that's actually pretty slamming. This is a new foundation. I don't think it's out yet, so I can't show it on camera. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm never gonna confirm or deny, basically. And I'm just gonna let you think what you want. If you feel like I'm in a relationship, great. If you don't, okay. I'm in it with y'all. I'm figuring out like how to be in healthy re adult relationships and I don't need the pressure of doing that in front of others as well. I also feel like people don't really know boundaries. People just feel really, really, really entitled to people online that they follow. Um, and that includes their relationships. And I need the autonomy to be able to exist and have this beautiful thing private and i also think that it's really interesting that people make the assumption that if you don't want to talk about the person that you're with it's because you're ashamed of them which is really weird i will never deny that person to anybody that is not over the internet like if i'm out with my mom or with my niece or with my partner or with whoever i'm not gonna be like ah, don't look at them like <laughs> i'm never gonna do that it's just i don't want to expose them to all of this and y'all can talk about me y'all can talk about the way i look my morals me gaining weight me losing weight me whatever the but the second that y'all talk about someone that i love oh we got a real problem therefore i'm just keeping it all as private as humanly possible okay y'all got mr uh gta outside so i really hope that y'all can't hear this random person revving their engine for no reason but anywho another really big question i got was about my diet slash workout routine and this is another one that's a little hard for me so here's the thing i don't mind talking about my workout routine because that's one thing like i'll show y'all my workout split i'll show y'all what i do um, to stay healthy, to maintain my body, blah, blah, blah. Now where we get dicey <laughs> is the diet portion of it all, the diet of it all. The thing about having a platform is that you have influence inherently, right? And I sometimes don't feel comfortable opening my mouth and recommending certain things because I don't want to ever say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, like steer my audience in the wrong direction or encourage any negative relationships with food or anything like that. Because something that works for me might be very triggering and harmful for others. And mind you, it's not that I'm like not eating. That's not it at all. I'm an intermittent fasting girly right now. And I literally just started that journey. And I'm also not comfortable talking about the amount of calories that I consume on a daily basis because it's not 2000 calories. And the last thing that I want is for people to be like oh i want to look like her so i'm gonna eat like her because i'm very 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 aware of the way that my body looks and the way that a lot of people want to look like me but i'd be trying to emphasize like y'all a lot of this is genetics and i basically just like 
maintain what I already have. I'm very grateful for that to be my reality. So I really don't want for someone to take a piece of content that I do and be like, okay, well, if I do intermittent fasting, if I eat this amount of calories, if I work out the exact same way that she does, then I'll look the way that she does. Cause you might not. And I just, I don't know. I get all my information off the internet. I mean, as most of us do. So I don't want to mislead people or give people the wrong information because even though everybody does that, like everybody gets their information off the internet, not everybody has a following. So it's okay for you to maybe like learn some misinformation and then implement it. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't because you didn't encourage anybody else to do the same thing as you. But for me, the stakes are a little different. So I just always feel a little funny about doing the whole what I eat in a day and doing all of that because I just, just, it makes me scared like I cannot emphasize enough I am not doing anything extreme I am not an extreme person when it comes to taking care of myself I don't know let me know y'all's Mr. GTA not Mr. GTA let me know y'all's perspective on that but that's kind of the place that I am at with it okay let me answer this one because it is along the lines of what a lot of people ask me and it is you are someone that I aspire to be like how do you make your life slash you so good and so peaceful I got a lot of questions about motivation how do I keep going how do I keep a positive mindset how have I gotten this far and I am telling you it is because I concentrate so much on what I let have my energy and I'm very mindful of where I put said energy. So I do not invest my energy in things that I cannot change, or at least I try my hardest to. So I'm not about to get worked up over a lot. One of my really good friends said that I am the most attached, detached person she's ever met. And it was such a good description of me because when I care, I care a lot, but I don't care about so much because I am a person that feels so so deeply if you didn't know i'm a pisces but i'm not just a pisces like i'm a pisces moon pisces sun pisces mars pisces mercury like i am pisces down okay so when i feel i feel to my core and that can be exhausting to always have an opinion and to be invested myself in things and it also means that when i get down i can get real down if i let myself or i can just have my head in the clouds too much like I can be a person that can swing into extremes, but I don't because I'm constantly grounding myself in reality. I am the most realistic delusional person you will ever meet in your life. And I love that about me. And that's how I would say that you, you really gotta focus on sticking to and caring about things that you can actually affect and have change or control over because so much in life you cannot. So I cannot affect the way that other people show up in my life, but I can affect the way that I show up in others. I can affect the attitude that I have when I wake up in the morning. Anything that I can have control over, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna not really care so much about everything else. And y'all know that I talked to y'all about that course that I took to be magnetic. I feel like I scream from the mountaintops how invaluable that whole course is slash was to me because I enrolled in it again for the year of 2024 because I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all when I say that I love it and I'm also not playing with y'all in terms of I am not perfect. I still have so much work to do on myself especially for the places that I want to get in this life. The reason why so little people make it as far as like the people at the top do is because of mindset, because of mentality, of course, because of circumstances, let's be for real. But it's a lot of the times it's because a lot of people just don't have the audacity to ask for it and to go after it unapologetically. You don't have the tools, you don't have the mindset, you don't have a lot. And I don't want my mindset to be the thing that stops me from achieving what I want to achieve in this life. So I do my to be magnetic work. I mind my business and I really focus on being a genuinely good human being every single day to every single person that I meet. And then to add on to that too, who I am is not conditional depending on the person that I'm talking to. I do not let 
the world determine whether or not I show up as my pure sweet self like I will not let the world spoil me in that way I am not the problem if someone takes advantage of my nature it's not because my nature is wrong it's because I'm talking to the wrong person I shared myself with the wrong person and remember I told y'all that I pray for discernment a lot I pray for discernment that's probably one of the one of my most prayed prayers because it's that serious because you need to be able to discern if this job is for you if this person is for you if this friendship is for you if this family member is supposed to be around still like you need discernment for everything and you cannot lean on your own human understanding to know whether or not someone is good for you because people talk a lot they got a lot to say and you can't take a lot of people at their word you got to go off of that like feeling that gut feeling that you get that is your gut that is god that is your guardian angel trying to tell you that person is not right and you need to listen to it someone asks it seems like influencers are going back to their nine to five do you think you'll ever leave to start a new career and what would it be so no <laughs> I don't think that I will. I understand why other people leave and find a nine to five because this is a very unstable career like it can be. I don't make the same amount of money month over month. Some months I can make a lot of money. Some months I don't make as much money. Let's say I worked with Dove in January. I'm probably not gonna see that money until March or April, which sounds insane. So you really have to have a steady stream of partnerships coming in at all times for you to be okay, or you just have to be really, really good with your money. So I understand why people are doing it and online ain't made for everybody. Like people wanna say that being a creator is oh so easy and we don't do shit. Okay, well then you do it. By no means am I miss um, Michaela talk about some try being an influencer for a day. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that it's a very particular kind of a job and it is not physically taxing and it makes you more money than most people will ever be able to make. But it takes such a big toll on your mental health. The human brain was not supposed to be able to absorb the opinions of so many people all the time our brains quite literally evolutionarily have not caught up to it so i understand why some people just can't hang and they go back to something that's more stable me however i don't think i ever will because ever since i was a little girl i have always wanted to be in entertainment one of the questions i actually got was from someone that knew me growing up and she asked me if I still sing. And that is something that you guys don't know, but when I was a little girl, the first thing I thought I was ever gonna be was gonna be a singer. I thought I was gonna audition for American Idol when I turned 16 and become a millionaire and put my whole family on. That did not happen, but I decided to take kind of like a different route into the entertainment business and that's what I'm doing here. If I wasn't doing this though, I could have done a lot. I feel like psychology, I feel like I low-key could have been in social work I could have been in cosmetology like doing hair doing makeup because I did that all throughout college just anything that helps people in a meaningful way eventually I want my career to look like Rihanna's career where she's known for something specific but she has now built an empire off of very many things so one day I want to have Simone Nicole the actor what's unique about Simone Nicole the actor is that she actually has like a social media following and you can see her journey for years and years and years and years and years back I think that's really unique and something that we really haven't necessarily seen before in the way that I'm doing it. Yeah, do I wanna stand on that? Yeah, not in the exact way that I'm doing it. Not saying that other people don't have like digital footprints and don't have YouTube channels that we can look back at, no. But I think that my story is gonna be really unique one day. Let me put on my outfit and then I'll answer a couple more questions. We are all done getting ready. I'll show you guys my outfit in one sec. How do you love yourself so much? I would love to work on that, but that is something that I struggle with a lot. I love that we're ending on this one, but it is also going to be along the lines of what I've already told y'all. And it's that I really do focus on myself. I stay in my own lane. I had to learn to stop comparing myself to people that I was never gonna be able to look like, whose lives I may never actually have. And remember that usually we struggle with self-love because we're so busy comparing ourselves to what we don't have, um, who we're not around, who we're not friends with. We feel inferior because of things that we lack, right? But when you concentrate on yourself and when you make yourself the standard, you will be 
so surprised about how much easier self-love comes to you and also work on doing self-affirming things so for me that is having my own having my beautiful apartment that i pay for completely by myself having paid off my car having a social media following chasing my dreams having people tell me that i have a positive effect on their life because that is something that I have wanted and has been a goal of mine ever since I had a memory, you know what I'm saying? When you do things that show yourself love that have nothing to do with the way that you look on the outside and that are based in something that people can't take away from you, you will truly start to unlock what loving yourself really looks like. That is where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you guys also for not doing not too much on me when it came to this video. I really appreciate it. I had so much fun filming this and I would love to film another one. Let me know if it's something that y'all would like to see and just let me know what type of content y'all are looking for from me in general. And we gonna have it going all year long. Oh, let me show you all my outfit before we go. This outfit is really eating, I ain't gonna hold you. So I have on this crop leather jacket. Underneath here, if you wanna zip it, there is a black corset. And then I have on these leather pants that I got from Because of Alice. And then my shoes are just some pointy stiletto nine west heels. Oh, and then my bag is my little mini coach bag. And then fragrances for the evening are this new Givenchy fragrance that I just got. And then my favorite Zara fragrance that is in my purse. The one that I just talked about, my perfume favorites. Everything as I said will be linked down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys super soon in my next video. Bye guys. Girl, I get the money with me, make you mine, oh. If you love me, never, nothing make you mad, oh. Now